good morning everyone uh, so uh, today we are going to discuss the component of microsoft office called ms access so today uh, we'll be covering in ms access uh, how to create database forms reports and how to write some queries sql queries so we'll practice all this uh, in today's session but before starting uh, <clears throat> before starting i want uh, please subscribe my channel so that you can get a series of videos of your uh, subject right so let's start so first of all we are going to discuss how to create database in ms access so for that first step is you need to open ms access Basically, MS Access is a component of Microsoft Office, which deals with database creation and database management system and updation of queries, etc. Right. So for this, you need to open MS Access. Then you need to go to File, Inside View option, Design View, and here you need to check for particular table name. Click OK. Then here you need to decide structure for your table. Uh, here should be table headings and here should be possible data types, right? So let's have first entries. First table heading will be your name. And I want as in data type, uh, as in data type, as in short text. Next is you want to put address. And we know uh, your address can't be uh, can't be uh, decoded by your short text limit, so it should be more than short text limit. So we'll go to another option, long text. Then I want to store my contact number. So for contact number, uh, I need. And number, I need numbers. So we'll select from the list number. Then I want to ask about gender. We know for gender, we have two possible options, either male and female. So we'll, uh, for that, we need to use lookup wizard. Then we need to click on OK. And here I will type my values on, click on next, type your first value, male, and female. Click on next. Limit to this table heading, these options, and click on finish. So when we uh, click on gender option, here will be a list that will be enabled to you. And that will have two options, male and female. And out of those two options, you need to select particular one, right? Next is, we are asking about nationality. Nationality means, or you can put here, are you Indian? Are you Indian? So for this question, we have possibly two answers either yes or no. So from the list, we, we need to select option yes and no, right? So from the list, we have used short text, long text, number. Auto number is already there, which update your uh, count as per the entries. Yes, no used and lookup wizard used. One more thing, I want to note down date of registration, date of registration. And we know that for date of registration, now when we are entering our date of birth also, we have one calendar. Out of those calendar uh, dates, particular date we need to select, right? So as we need to create uh, a database related to patient, so we'll write some diagnosis report and that can be, uh, you can take long text. So table structure, finally, we had decided, save it. And now go to again view option and data sheet view. 
your table, your database has been created. Now you can see below ID, here is written new. Here is written new. So when I'm doing my first entry, Radhika, it has been changed to one. When I'm writing my second entry, Komal, it will update to two, right? Right at this Chandigarh and let's be Mohali. And contact, I'm writing ABC. Let's see, it's allowed or not. It's not allowed because in contact number, we can type only, we can type only numerics. Right? Next is gender field. In gender, we have two options, male and female. So select it and here also select it. From the list, we need to select. So here I have used lookup wizard. When we, I need to make a list, I need to use lookup wizard. Next question is, are you Indian? So if you are, then you will click. Otherwise, you will disable the link. Disable the tick, right? Next is date of registration. For date of registration, calendar has been provided. Click on that and particular date you need to select. Particular date you need to select, right? Done. After that diagnosis, like any kind of diagnosis, fever or any recommendation or any disease survey. So you need to do that. So that's the way how we had created the database in MS Access. So next, I want to tell you how to create forms and reports. Forms are basically a way to uh, entering information to the system, right? Form is basically we prefer when we need to take input from user, right? So for uh, making forms, just click on create option. When we are making forms, your tabular data will be converted to forms. So let's see how. Create option, form wizard. Here, if you have multiple tables, you need to select particular table from the list. Then you need to send to the right column the option that you want to keep in your form by arrow key. I want to keep all, so we'll select all. Next, now we have four design designs for your forms. Uh, they are related to your orientations, column-based, table-based, data sheet, justified. So we'll go with first option, column, that will give you your information in a better way. Then click on next and finish it. Your These two entries has been created in the form of form. You can see first entry from Radhika, second ent entry from Common. Now, what is the advantage of having this at the last? After this, we have a blank form. If I fill this form, your data will be updated to your database. See how I'm entering here one more entry, Rahul. And here is address like Punjab and contact number. Let it be uh, gender is a male and Indian, yes, of course, and registration date. And here is some kind of diagnosis, for example. So, and save it. Save. Now check your table again, whether it has been updated to your table or not. See, your data has not been till uh, updated to your channel, updated to your uh, table, data has not been updated. For that, what you need to see, for, uh, to see your updates, you need to close it and open it again. So next entry, Rahul entry is there, right? So your forms, in forms, we can view the information, we can add the information, we can edit the information, and we can delete the option, right? So next is how to create reports. Similarly, forms and reports are similar, steps are also similar, but difference is your forms are a way of taking inputs, but reports are uh, a way of giving outputs, right? So your uh, forms are dynamic and reports are static, which is fixed, which can't be changed, right? So go to create option. 
report wizard same step check for table pass on the field have you filed uh, have you passed the all uh, you need to pass all the fields to this right side then click on next after that you need to decide any sorting mechanism click on next and uh, if you want to uh, put like the firstly we should have name then secondly we should to print address of the person or any other thing so you can uh, decide your constraints otherwise you can click on next and here also you have some methods that which are required for your reports you can select anyone orientations and layout right your reports will be printed in that format next and click on finish your these three entries has been has been printed as a report komal radhika and rahul right so after that next step i want is how to apply sql queries so basically let's close all other things which is not required now close all right for executing sql queries sql stands for structured query language in which we need to type queries to define the data to define the data means uh, suppose we have thousands of records in database and we need to select for particular one so we need to write query so that will make our life better uh, easy our problem easy to access any uh, data right we can easily access data from the huge database by with the help of queries right so first of all go to create option then here you need to select query design so system is asking you you want to generate query with table 1 as i have created only table 1 here so we'll click on add option and close it and after that inside we view we need to access second uh sql view option and now my first query is select from table 1 so i want to write select star from table 1 what it means select star from table 1 means uh, i want everything from table 1 so the table uh, as i have created in a, uh in first step i want as it is as an output so run this query table is there table is there i have written here select star from table 1 which means select everything from table 1 so as a result of this query it will shows you everything from table right as an output so next query i want to write sql now i want need to select particular i want name from database from table 1 i want all names in table 1 as an outputs run radhika komal rahul in my database there are three entries right similarly we can check their address i have crowd of chandigarh mohali and punjab right so next query select i want name from table 1 condition based where address equal punjab i am writing i want that name that that is that person name that is belonging to punjab so when we run this so i need to write punjab is in quotes so rahul is there who is from punjab so uh, i so today we discuss number of ways of using ms access i hope you understand if you like my lecture please uh, uh, do like and share and subscribe thank you all